Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and we are out this morning in Orlando looking to see if we can find some good things to pick up. We are going into this rummage sale at this church, and we're going to go. I'm with my daughter. We're going to go in and see if we can find anything good. And then afterwards, I think we're going to head to a couple of estate sales. So let's go and see what we can find. Fisher Price stuff. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good So we're just leaving this rummage sale. Unfortunately, we walked out empty handed, but maybe in the next estate sale, we'll find something better. I'm not even sure what that is. Kind of looks like Hello Kitty. But what is it? Um, I don't know. There's some Google Smart Wheels down there, some geotronics. Actually, that kind of looks like that might be Vintage, huh? It's like 1986 is what it says on there. $2.99. They do look a little, uh, some of them look a little beat, but we could probably wash them off. Maybe Magic Eraser. I think we'll grab these.
sometimes action figures can be really good. Looks like that might be Benjamin. But it's hard to tell in this bag when you can't see any dates. I really want to look for the 80s and 90s. Six dollars. Can't tell. I don't know enough about Benton. Where are those figures? Maybe if we look some of them up. Play food. Half it doesn't look to be vintage to me. Some of their prices here, if they were cheaper, I would give it a shot, but let's look in these bags. Momo, Glitter Galaxy. Outside. The bag is snowing. If you see that. Yep, snowing in goodwill. Just a whole bunch of mega blocks. Just curious what this guy is. Not American Girl, but kind of looked like it for a second. <clears throat> I just found some really good games. Looks like this one's selling for like $50 online, but unfortunately it doesn't have a price. And sometimes at Goodwills, when there's no price, they won't let you have it. And take it back and reprice it so we're gonna hope that that doesn't happen this time um this one the same thing looks like it was going the 30 40s although i must say it's really heavy but for a dollar 99 hopefully it has its pieces and this one's brand new and it's selling on amazon for like 63 so we're gonna take a risk on that for 15. And then it looks like there's more steel games over here. Also 15. I'm going to look these all up. That one's not new, but this looks like the same game as the other one. It's an SNL Trivial Pursuit. That might be worth something. We'll have to try that one too. Yeah, looks like we're totally looking out at games right now. So I'm gonna get up and scan some of these and see. Okay, so we are back at the house and I am going to go ahead and go over 
all of the stuff that I found while I was out this weekend for Labor Day. Um, but just before we jump in, I just wanted to share that sometimes when you go out sourcing, it's not always super great. In the end, it turned out okay for me. I did find a lot of stuff. But at the beginning, I was really striking out and getting kind of bummed. I decided Friday night that we were going to go to this church rummage sale, which was the video that I did first. And it was a total bust and we didn't find anything. Everything was pretty kind of trashy and there wasn't very much stuff there. But it was a 35 minute drive from our house. And from here in Orlando, you have to take tolls to get to a lot of places. So I was pretty disappointed and there was an estate sale next to it, which is also why we decided to take the risk of going out. And we got to the estate sale and it wasn't even in the house, it was just in the garage and there was hardly anything there. So yeah, the estate sale was a big bust as well. And then there was one garage sale that was close to those two. And so we drove over to the garage sale and of course there was not even a garage sale there. And as we were turning around to leave the road, there was actually another woman that was looking for the same garage sale who got out of her car and went up to the door and knocked on it to inquire about the garage sale. I thought that was pretty gutsy. I don't know that I would do that. If that ever happens, I'm just like, oh, whatever, and I drive away. But yeah, she totally went and checked it out. I actually took a picture because I totally thought that it was funny. Um, because it's not like they're going to be like, oh yeah, we do have a garage sale full of stuff. Let me go open the garage. You know, like, what are they going to say? Um, anyway, maybe I guess they could have said, oh, we're doing it next week. And maybe that was helpful to her. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, so we drove past another garage sale, still nothing. And so we decided to go out far there and go to another estate sale. And we stopped in a Goodwill on the way there and we are new to the area and I've hardly been to any Goodwills here, but so far it seems like their prices are pretty, pretty crazy. So we walked around the Goodwill and I didn't think we were going to find anything because the prices were just outrageous. Like I picked up a couple pairs of men's shoes and they wanted $50 for the first pair. The next pair I picked up, they wanted $30 for, and I was like, forget it. I'm not even looking at the shoes. And I mean, I think they were good brands, but it wasn't like, you know, a million dollar shoes by any means. Um, so, so we went to the back and we checked things out. And the only thing that we ended up coming across, as you saw in the footage, uh, were these glow worms. <laughs> um, and it looks like there's 12 of them in this bag. We paid $2.99 for them. And it looks like they're doing fairly well online but some of them are a little beat up, like I was mentioning before. So that was all we that was all we picked up in that first store. Well, we picked up a couple of baby plates for my one-year-old who likes to throw his plate off the high chair. Uh, but then we started going again, and then we went to this estate sale, which again was really small. There was only like maybe their family room and the kitchen that had stuff in it. And they had these copper pots all sitting on the stove. And they're really nice. I know very little about pots, but I've seen from other people's videos that there can be good money in pots. So they had these two bigger pots with the lids. There's this double boiler with this like ceramic insert. That's, that's really nice. And then there's a couple of colanders and then a bowl and so I pulled out my phone and I'm trying to research what these might be worth but unfortunately there's no there's no marking on them that I could find it just uh, would say made in Portugal um, which is actually interesting that they still have the stickers on them because I don't know they must have hand washed them or rarely used them. I don't know, but the sides kind of look a little used. The insides look great, but I don't know how the stickers are still there. Anyway, um, 
They had them at $50. They had marked them down on the sign to $30, which I thought was a fairly good deal. And somebody in the other room was actually talking to them, inquiring about it, asking how low they would go on them. And the lady responded she would take 25. That was the lowest she would go. And the people were like, eh, we don't want to pay $25 for it. So they left. So then the lady came back into the kitchen and we kind of wandered off a little bit. And she's talking to her daughter about how great these pots are and how they can't believe they haven't sold before now. And then she's like, I wonder how much they're worth. Maybe we should go on Google and look it up. And so I hurried and ran in and I was like, I'll take them, I'll take them for 25. Because of course, if they went and looked them up, they probably realized they were worth well more than $25. So hopefully in the end, these are gonna be a good buy. I'll go over what, uh, what these are all selling for um, at the end. So then that's all I picked up at that estate sale. Then we had a Goodwill right by there. That's a kind of a newer Goodwill. And from, from the reviews that I've read online, it looks like it's one of the best in Orlando, maybe even Florida, um, which it kind of looks that way so far. Um, anyway, so we head back to the toy section and they had all these games like you saw in the footage. And I picked up all of these. The best part though was that these ones had their packaging still and then uh, let's see this one had its packaging this one actually didn't even have a price on it and then this one and this one um, both looked used and had tape around them which really stinks uh, when they do their boxes I'll show you on this one over here they use packaging tape I don't know if you can see it in the picture but they're very liberal with the packaging tape. It's not just a little piece on the side to hold it together. So I had to very, very slowly peel it off so that the paper didn't get ripped off of the boxes in the process. Um, so yeah, so we picked up this Guild Master. It's brand new sealed in the box. All of the brand new sealed uh, games were $14.99. And then this Dwarven Miner Reforged, which there was two of. And there's this Dwarven Smithy. So those were all, were all $14.99. Um, I also picked up, just, just on a whim, I didn't really look it up, um, but I picked up this Trivial Pursuit SNL, which was also brand new in box, except for this one was only $1.99. So I thought, hey, for two bucks, surely I can get something for it. It does have a little bit of wear on the plastic wrap. Um, then we picked up this Mice and Mystics for $1.99, and Hotel Tycoon was also $1.99. Uh, the best part of those games, this one, when I got up to the register, I was afraid. Sometimes in Chicago, if there's no price on things, they won't let you buy it and they'll turn around and take it to the back room and they'll be like well you can come back tomorrow when it has a price on it so i was really afraid that it was going to not have a price um but the guy was like a eh, dollar 99 and so i was like sure i'll take it so we got that one for a dollar 99 as well um and then when i got home and opened these up i haven't counted the pieces but i assume they're all there all three, this five minute dungeon, the Mice and Mystics, and the Hotel Tycoon are all sealed brand new inside of their boxes. So, totally awesome scores there. The only one catch too is this does have a big indent in the back of the box and it's a little bit torn on the paper right there. But hopefully somebody won't mind. Um, so then at that same store, I also picked up these little Crocs. They wanted $3.99 for these, which isn't like super great, but Crocs sell really fast. And then 
Let's see, did I get anything else that day? Oh, I got these men's. I, these are called Prop It. There's the inside. They seemed like they were a good shoe. They have leather uppers. Um, it looked like they had very few on eBay. There was one that had sold that was brand new for 70. So I'm hoping I can at least get 30, 35 for those. Usually men's shoes do better than at least women's and kids price wise. Um, then I got these really nice, let's see, what was the brand on these? Uh, Magnani, I think, by Neiman Marcus. They are really good condition. I mean, usually you get a little bit of scuffing and stuff, um, but these don't really have any. I mean, you can tell that they were worn, so they just must have been super careful. Um, those were the color of the day for half off. So those ended up being $7.50 and these ones were $7.99. And I think that that was all that we got that day. So then I was excited about these games and I thought maybe there's a game store around that was donating a whole bunch to this Goodwill. Maybe we should go back. So Monday morning we went back to the store hoping to find more games that maybe they had more in the back room and they just didn't have space so they hadn't put them all out but unfortunately that wasn't the case and so uh, we only ended up getting a couple of things they did have this my little pony shoots and ladders for a dollar 99 which hopefully like the other ones will have all of its pieces it looks like it's got um, the ponies in there at least and the box is in good condition and then picked up these hunter boots. They're like a toddler size, but hunter is always really good to pick up. And then some more Crocs. These ones have the fleecy lining to them, which usually sell for a little bit more. And these ones also have the little plug things. I don't even know what they're called. I think I might take a couple of them out because I don't know. I don't know how many girls really like all four of those things. Maybe I'll take off Spongebob and the pig and just leave the princess and uh, Minnie Mouse. Um, and let's see, those were $3.99, the boots were $3.99, and then we got this little Cinderella parade float for Fisher Price Little People. They only wanted 69 cents for it, so yeah, so we ended up picking up that one as well. So I thought it would be fun if everybody, if you could pause your video at this point, and I want you to go down into the comments, and I want you to tell me which one of these you think is going to be the most profitable item, and which one you think will be the least profitable item. And then in my next video, maybe I'll give a shout out to anybody who got both of the answers right and I just thought that would might be kind of fun because you just never know even for me sometimes I pick things up and I'm like I can't believe how much this is worth or I pick things up and I think oh this is totally great find this is gonna be great it's sealed or this is vintage or you know whatever and then you go online and there's like thousands of them and they're worth nothing so so yeah go ahead and pause the video and let me know which one you think will be the best and which one you think will be the worst. Okay, hopefully you left a guess in the comment section. We're going to go ahead and show you how much everything is roughly going for online. So these Hunter boots look like they're going for about $30 for sold comps. These Crocs, both of them, Crocs usually do in about the $15 to $25 range. Let's see. The pots and pans were really hard to find an exact comp on because, like I was saying, there is no brand. But there's similar boilers on there that look like they're going for uh, $40 to $50. And I'm just guessing by the copper that the rest of these are going to go for a minimum of 20, um, 20 to $30 at least. So hopefully in the end, my $25 
I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, even if you said $20 minimum, I would have ended up at least 140 into those pots, but I think that would be worst case scenario for those. Uh, this My Little Pony game isn't really going for a whole lot on eBay, but on Amazon, the lowest uh, buy box price was $33. So I think we're going to put it on Amazon. These Prop It shoes, like I was saying before, I think um, there weren't any really used sold ones in there. I'm thinking that they'll probably end up about 30, maybe 35. Uh, these Magnani Neiman Marcus ones look for their look like they're going in the like forty to sixty dollar range. This little people figure looks like theirs is sold for nine something, <clears throat> so not great profit, but um, but she's cute and it was fairly cheap to begin with. This SNL Trivial Pursuit, unfortunately, um, is going for very little, and there are so many of them on eBay, like over a thousand of them on eBay, and there were only like 20 sold. So when you're talking sell-through rate, there's a great example of a really bad buy. I should have looked it up, but sometimes you just don't have time to look up every single thing at the store. And I just thought, oh, it was new in package. Surely I can get my money back, which I, I probably can. It's probably just gonna take a long time to get my $2 back. Um, but for you that were guessing in the comments, I, I think that this is probably going to be my worst buy <clears throat> and probably the least profit because I mean, they were talking, the solds were including shipping and they were selling for like nine, 10, 11, $12. But you know, you take the shipping into account for that, <clears throat> this can easily, easily is going to run you six or seven dollars. Yeah, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a really bad buy and it's going to take forever, I'm guessing. I'm just hoping that maybe if I put it on Mercari maybe, or Poshmark, that there will be a lot less and my odds might be better of somebody coming across it and not looking at other listings. So yeah, we'll see on that one. But. I, I probably shouldn't have picked that one up. All right, so then we've got these Dwarven Minor Reforged games. These ones I had debated on because 15 is kind of high. Their buy box on Amazon uh, was around $45. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, put them on Amazon probably around 60 and hope that the price goes up a little at Christmas time on those ones. This Dwarven Smithy game um, is on Amazon, but there were no current offerings. So I got to make my own price on that. And hopefully at Christmas time, somebody will take it. I priced it at 80, so we'll wait and see. But with only one being out there, um, it's definitely going to be a good turnaround on that guy. So then this Mice and Mystics game looks like they're selling on eBay between 30 and 70, 30 on the used range, 70 for the new ones. This one's new inside, so I'll probably put it somewhere in the middle. So then we have this Guild Master, and I've got this one lowest box price on Amazon right now, and that's at $62, which um, all of these ones on Amazon will include the shipping. So it'll be $62 free shipping on this one. And hopefully being the lowest price, it will sell, especially before Christmas time. This Hotel Tycoon game, which I've never seen before, and I really like Tycoon games, tycoon game so I'm kind of tempted to play it but it was brand new inside so I guess that's not going to happen um but it looks like on eBay it this one wasn't on Amazon it looks like on eBay these are going for 30 to 65 dollars the same thing the used ones in the 30 range the 65 for the newer ones 
So again, I'll put it somewhere in the center since it's new on the inside. Um, then we have this five minute dungeon game. And this one really surprised me. And I'm glad that I ended up getting it because I think this was my best buy uh, for, for this lot of things. Um, this one, there's only one currently for sale on eBay and it's listed for $200 and it's brand new. But there are sold comps. There's one that sold for 145 that was brand new. And then there were two that were used. I'm not sure of the condition on them, but one was sold for 50 and one sold for like 70 something. So hopefully, because this is brand new inside and the box is in perfect condition, I'll be able to list this one up around 130, 40 maybe. And yeah, two bucks I've got into that. So that one's going to be super great. And it looked like, like they were selling. So, so that was a really fun score on that one. So then the last one, which, yeah, I'm still not sure exactly what these are gonna go, but there's, there's a lot of these selling online um, in the like 10 to $30 a piece for these glow worms. I was totally surprised. Um, there were a couple of lots on there. Somebody had a group of nine of them. Somebody had another group of 10 of them that had sold for $130 a piece for the groups. And then of course there's other ones where people priced them a lot lower where they had seven and it sold for 40 or, um, yeah. So I'm just not sure. I'm not sure if it's dependent on the actual character, you know, like if, you know, this purple guy goes for more than the green guy. Um, and that's what's making the ones go for a lot more the $130 lot versus the $40 lot or people just went on and priced it really low, not knowing how much value was in them. Um, but yeah, so that one's also going to be a possible over hundred dollars if I price them right. I don't think I'll do them individually, mostly because they're kind of beat up, but hopefully even if I did two groups, I'll still go over a hundred for that bag so yeah crazy you just never know what you're gonna find and it's you just never know the value of things so just make sure you're looking things up but also remember at the end of the day you can't be at the thrift store for you know 30 plus hours it's not really worth your time to be there for 30 hours then that's not a great investment of time either so you know sometimes you just you just grab those those games and you end up sitting on them but but it happens it's part of reselling you make some good choices you make some bad ones and you know eventually things will sell it just it just takes a while so hopefully uh, you got the answer right it'll be fun to see everybody's comments uh, down in the comment section and I think that we are good for now so if you like this video and you like this kind of content, I'd really appreciate if you would click on the like button and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm trying to do videos at least once a week, so there will be more coming. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a super day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.